Greetings, my fellow free most often thinkers. This is LL3's newest podcast. My name is Craig, transmitting from the beautiful Swampy Mango, South Florida. And today's date, Saturday, August 19th, 2017. Yes, it's 3.06 a.m. Eastern Time. A little quiet, mellow. Yeah, warm, but not horrendous. Just chilling by the new river. As usual, like my little home, I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna be mainly doing uh, one topic today. It's uh, caught my eye, and it's mainly about an individual who was very critical on what happened of some of the monuments. It's, it's, it's titled Judge. Georgia judge suspended for comparing attack on U.S. monuments to ISIS actions. It's from 21st Century Wire. As it says here, it came out yesterday. It says here, in the wake of the Charlottesville melee, reactionary social justice flash mobs and assorted vigilantes have begun a campaign of attacking and destroying statues and monuments all over the country. The irrational rationale of these activists is that these historical monuments represent oppression and slavery, and therefore they must be marked for ceremonial destruction. There is a scene in this video, like it's five minutes long, it says, Watch the scene in Durham, North Carolina this week, where bizarrely the histor- hysterical mob of liberal progressive protesters line up to take turns kicking the inanimated bronze statue on the ground. After it was pulled down in a impromptu ceremony, this, this is a emotive crowd clearly carried away by the political hysteria. I seen this video and I wasn't really that pressed. And it was interesting, it was a group called the World Workers site, where I represent by them, and I was looking at some of their areas called white supremacists got see and all that wasn't really too thrilled but they had an article in there and they idolized Vladimir Lenin so I'm like <laughs> I'm sorry but every time I read his rhetoric and so forth I'm like yeah I want to be hypnotized too you know their lord and savior shoot hope they love sexualization I would say everything revolves around them Okay, well, I'm going to continue on here. Compound these direct actions by political mobs, destroying, defacing various types of public monuments across the United States. We can now report that the establishment is now moving into silence any critics of these actions and suppress any sincere public debate on this important issue. Question, should a small, violent, reactionary mob be allowed to bypass any sensible public discussion on forum, thereby litigating and dictating history for the rest of the community and country? I say hell no. They can stick it up their rear end, as far as I'm concerned. Every record has been destroyed or falsified. Every book has been rewritten. Every picture has been repainted. Every statue and street building has been renamed. Every date has been altered in that process, continuing day by day and minute by minute. History has stopped. Nothing exists except the endless present in which the party is always right. George Orwell in his book 1984 and Mark from Mark and Tro says this so this is ha- really happening George Orwell was a prophet in many ways are rapidly heading towards a 1984 style thought police environment now viewed from a police state perspective this contrived disorder is designed to further break down social cohesion in America in effect finishing a job which Obama started in 2008 this is an invitation for a federal state to move with more emergency powers to restore order for populace at large, less rights of expression will be the outcome. While the new left in America, American appoints itself a policeman of history, it ranks to be more ignorant than ever of it. They fail to note Mao's purge and other examples in history. After Charlottesville, the culture wars have begun. What happened to this judge in Georgia may be the taste of things to come. The cultural world has arrived. The new left 
I love when they take the statue down, says no Trump, no KKK, no fascist USA. They're from a website, www.workers.org. And I can say this, I am not really that impressed. First from RT International News reports, a judge in Gwinnett County, Georgia, has been suspended for comparing those taking down Confederate monuments the most ter- to the most ter- to the terrorist group Islamic State. There has been nationwide push across the U.S. to remove Confederate symbols from public squares. The nutcases tearing down monuments are equivalent to ISIS destroying history. Judge Hinkle wrote on Facebook. The Tuesday, the same day, protesters in Durham, North Carolina, toppled a statue honoring Confederate soldiers. And Jeffrey Gunnerman said, Judge Hinkle suspended. Judge Jim Hinkle suspended the case. The nut cases tear down monuments are equivalent to ISIS destroying history. Absolutely. It's like the so called Holy Roman Empire, they claim maybe the Christian Crusade. And I'm not here to bat, collect attack Christianity in the collective basis, but they were doing the same thing in his time. And these folks is like trying to carry that torch of suppression. You are so manly, patriotic, and highly intelligent. I can idolize you as manure. On Saturday, Hinkle had written that protesters in Charlottesville, Virginia, were snowflakes with no concept of history as they came to county a rally of nat- national white nationalists who gathered to oppose the planned relocation of a statue to General Confederate General Robert E. Lee. In Charlottesville, everyone is upset over Robert E. Lee's statue, Hinkle Post. It looks like all of the snowflakes have no concept of history. It is what it is. Get over it and move on. Leave history alone. Those who ignore history are deemed to repeat the mistake of the past. That quote is absolutely correct. That post was written approximately an hour before a car crash into a group of counter-protesters in Charlotte, killing a woman and injuring 19 other people. Police have charged the driver who reportedly took part in the right nationals rally with second-degree murder. I have suspended John Hinkle effectively, effective immediately while I considered the appropriate final action. Genwit County Chief Magistrate Judge Krishna Hammer Blum told the Atlanta Journal Constitution Tuesday. Hinkle told that the AJC he didn't see anything controversial about the post. But you know, with the way things are going in the world today, I guess everything's controversial, he told the outlet. And it says here, as a review in the Facebook post you brought to my attention this morning, I have suspended John Hinkle effective immediately while I consider the appropriate final action. As a chief judge, chief as a chief magistrate judge, I made it clear to all of our judges and the judicials, as well as our internal policies, require judges to conduct themselves in the manner that promote public confidence in the integrity, impartiality, and fairness of the judiciary. I consider any violation of those principles and policies to be a matter of the most utmost concern, and will certainly take any action necessary to enforce compliance and to maintain integrity in the court. Christina Hammer Blom, Chief Magistrate, Greenwood County Magistrate Court, and of course this one here, Tony Thompson, full text of Chief J statement about suspending Judge James Hinkle. Well, read more cultural Marxism. That's how I look at it. Censorship at its finest. You know it's so funny because even this uh, workers, world workers group this really boggles the mind and it's I have to say in respect they're doing like everything else censure censor the heritage culture and individualism that's like one of the main goals is to get rid of that and I've addressed it in my last episode for example when a lot of the one of the trade folks got the slaves from Africa back to the United States they suppressed them and they took up they took their heritage, individuality and culture, including their names. And many happened to deal with them with the Native American Indians as well. This is to give you those couple of examples in the United States. This is happening worldwide. So this is nothing new at all. But when you start trying to get even with people and say, Oh, that guy's a racist, that guy's a white supremacist. Robert E. Lee, respectfully, was never 
a white, I mean a white supremacist, nor a slave owner. He opposed slavery. And you, what people need to start reading and look at their history. All right. Furthermore, many of them were Jewish by were Jews. A great amount of them were Mexicans descent or Tejanos when they when they fought for the Confederacy in Texas. Plus, many of them too are African and Africans, American descent, that were getting ready to fight the war as well. So there were a lot of interesting things people need to start looking at instead of being so prejudicial. Yes, these folks over here have those Ku Klux Klan attributes. Yeah, I'm calling those individuals out. Just like the KKK and the, and the Nazis. Ha ha ha. How do you know? How do I know? They think alike and smell the same with a different package, different uniform. And I'm really disappointed um, what has happened here. And what's interesting, I was like looking through the Constitution. And the close I got was Article 6, Section 7, Paragraph 7A. And it says here, any judge be removed, may be removed, suspended, or otherwise disciplined for willful misconduct in office or for the willful and persistent failure to perform the duties of office or the habitual inter intemperance or for the conviction of a crime having moral turpitude or for conduct or prejudicial to the administration of justice which brings judicial, judicial office to disrepute. Hmm, so right there. Didn't see anything. I'm like looking down here. This is pretty touchy because it, it can be contradicting. Alright? Can be contradicting on that area. So, it's one thing you gotta look at. You didn't see, it didn't really happen. Did he post this page? Post this page at the office? I don't think so. That's the question I have to say. But to be very sincere. You may say, oh, they're prejudicial, but according to this, it didn't really say anything about about um, him putting his two cents in. It didn't, didn't do anything immoral. I didn't perform it wasn't it wasn't during his duties of office but it may be some contractual agreement as well but it's very disturbing because sometimes if they I think this judge should fight it regardless contest it appeal if necessary and have the back and have all your merits to back it up with this person terminate you or suspended you illegally in your state constitution so I am looking at those areas. That's all I got about discipline removal. It's considered discipline. You suspend it, but based on that, what I afford, whether it was a four or I addressed a four mentioned, I didn't really see anything pertaining to say put something on social media. So that can be a loophole. What are your thoughts? Share it with me. That'd be great. Nothing candy ass or anything like that. Just an honorable discussion will be right. The honorable, superior, superb thing to do. All right. Well, you know what? That's why I made this brief. I thank everyone for listening. Plus, feel free to download and share this throughout your social media networks. If you have any questions, comments, or you want to send me something that's interesting and may want to check out, whatever you do, please. Address your correspondences with the coral. You can hit me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, YouTube, Freedoms Network, Scene.LifeMinds.com, FutureNet.Club, or Patreon.com forward slash LokiLuck3. In addition, you can email me at LokiLuckNumber3 at gmail.com or encrypted ones, folks, LokiLuck numbers 03 at ProtonMail.com. If you hear that, we're going over the bridge. All right, my friends, once again, thank you for your time. But always remember that the maniac resistance is healthy for the soul and can liberate humanity. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Keep on spreading love. 
and may your guardian spirits be with you.